My name is Kathy Soa and this is my project for Innovation 2016. This project is a UV sensor uh, which shows data on an LCD screen. It grew from a personal need. Um, a week after I returned from my honeymoon I was diagnosed with skin cancer, melanoma, and after, I, um, after that I've been diagnosed with two more. Um, melanomas, so I'm uh, very wary of anything that uh, could um, uh, cause me to go through that again and uh, taking steps to prevent it. Uh, so I wear a lot of sunblock and I apply frequently. I thought when I saw this Adafruit UV sensor uh, that also does visible light and IR, uh, that this could be pretty useful to tell me when the UV rating is high enough that I need to uh, reapply sunblock. So the UV sensor pushes data to the LCD screen. Uh, I'm interested in steampunk culture so right now I have a little uh, message on here relating to um, uh, steampunk idea little fuzzy let me try that again there we go uh, it says welcome captain and the UV rating currently it is 0 0.04 on here um, the setup is connected to a battery pack and an Arduino with the sensor and the LCD on a breadboard uh, the LCD um, pins 2 3 4 and 5 uh, on the Arduino, go for the LCD screen um, readout, uh, power to the LCD screen. It has a 220 uh, ohm resistor. Um, there's uh, the pins 11 and 12 um, take data from, uh, from the Arduino to the uh, screen. And then uh, these power the, the backlight on the screen. There's a potentiometer here where I can change how lit the screen is for a better readout and different light conditions. Uh, the UV sensor um, is connected to a different voltage than the um, LCD screen. The LCD screen requires 5 volts. So its power coming from the Arduino is going to this half of the breadboard. Each half of the breadboard uh, powers its own um, separate voltage. So this half is connected to 5 volts and this half is connected to 3.3 volts on the Arduino. So they have different power levels that they need. Um, this one is connected uh, with the uh, SDA and SCL um, for pushing the, the data readings on. Uh, this UV sensor also can do um, visual light, uh, ambient light calculation, as well as um, infrared. In fact, it can also act as a proximity sensor. I am not using it for those capabilities, but it is capable of doing that. Um, although it is um, too far to, uh, to get the sensor to the camera, um, and read a different uh, reading. The, the reading updates um, very quickly. Um, I have a little low-powered UV light here uh, and I can put the UV sensor into the light and I'll try to get to a readout on the screen so you can see before it was 0 0.4, 0 0.5 and Let's see if it will unfuzz enough to see. Um, there we go. Uh, welcome, Cap. Woo! Welcome, Captain. Um, the reading at the current moment shows 0.36. Uh, again, it's a low-level um, uh, UV light, but this shows it does change. Um, it does not actually calculate UV directly. It bases it off a function of the um, calculation of ambient light and infrared light. Um, so it's, it's an algorithm that it uses to process that. As soon as we take it out from the uh, light, shows 0.49 right now, and it will immediately go back down to 0.05. Um, so, 
uh, this project um, is portable, um, but not extremely functional if one is out and about to carry this big display around. Um, so my next innovation with this is probably to use a flora uh, available through a uh, Adafruit um, to power a flora UV sensor that connects to that. And those are wearables, so I could uh, sew that onto clothing. But now I know the concept works and um, I can perhaps do some more things with it, like have it uh, play a tone um, or text me uh, when the UV reaches a certain level. So some future directions for this too. Thank you.